kind of a cool effect. That's a pretty picture. Yeah, not too shabby. Yeah, it's, it's a cool day, huh? Yeah, it's <laughs> cold. I mean, it was real cold this morning. Uh, I was just outside for a little bit, mm -hmm. and as soon as the sun starts peeking through, it it really warms you up, but it kind of blinds you a little bit too. So uh, yeah, make sure you uh, you've got the sunglasses heading out the door this afternoon, and you need a coat still. I mean, it's cold, but at least it's up into the 40s right now. 43 degrees. The wind chill is still in the mid 30s. It feels like it is uh, about 36 degrees right now. Winds out of the northwest around uh, 10 to 20 miles per hour. Decreasing clouds though the rest of the afternoon. So highs today, mid 40s, and temperatures are going to be dropping basically from uh, one o'clock through the rest of the afternoon. We're going to be back into the 30s basically right when the sun goes down, which is just a few minutes after 5 p.m. So today a high of 44 and tonight I put lows in the mid 20s I actually put it at 26, um, but this model is showing 27 degrees mid 20s. Some suburbs, maybe the lower 20s tomorrow morning. Very cold tonight, but the wind will be lighter and we'll have a quiet start to the day tomorrow. It's going to be cold and wind will be light but we'll have increasing clouds right after the sun comes up tomorrow from the next storm system moving in from the southwest. Now tomorrow we're going to warm up to only about 40 degrees and we'll see some snow showers moving in any point after 2 p.m. from the southwest. And these will be kind of broken spotty showers through the rest of the day tomorrow and into tomorrow night. It's going to mix with some sleet and rain showers later in the day. So this could end up being a messy evening commute tomorrow with slick roads. Tomorrow night it gets warm enough and temperatures may actually rise a few degrees overnight that we'll see some spotty rain showers. But but I don't think ice is going to be an issue Wednesday morning. It's going to be well above freezing by then. We'll have a continued chance of rain showers even throughout the day Wednesday as the storm system slides to the east. So Wednesday, there's going to be heavier pockets of rain across Ohio and Indiana. If you're driving that way before uh, Thanksgiving Day, then there's a higher chance of some heavier rain there. I don't think we're going to quite get heavy rain uh, all across Michigan on Wednesday, but there's certainly going to be periods of rain off and on from the morning through the afternoon through Wednesday night. And then it winds down overnight Wednesday night, drying out in time for Thanksgiving Day. And Thanksgiving Day, a high of 52 degrees and a mild afternoon, a mild morning, too. I think it'll start out cloudy, but we'll have decreasing clouds Thursday afternoon. So pretty nice weather for Thanksgiving Day. But if you have driving plans Wednesday across the state or anywhere south of Michigan, uh, plan for rain and some wet roads. At least it's above freezing by then. 52 Thursday, 50 degrees for the high Friday and mostly cloudy. But uh, dry weather Friday and Saturday, if you're putting up the lights, maybe Friday or this weekend, dry weather for it. And above average temperatures will be in the upper 40s still, even Saturday and Sunday.